But Meek kept it so real with Snoop, even though Meek introduced the world to Snoop. I mean, the you know, he told Snoop to go with the better deal. Yeah. Mm. But Snoop was like, nah, you know, out of loyalty, I'm going to go ahead and sign. So he said, my mama give him two years of my life. Then I'm going to start doing my own thing. He said, when I'm 25, we're going to retire. My daddy going to be home and we just going to live. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. What? I want to ask about Meek. If he's talking about buying things and doing things, had he even signed a deal already and the money and everything was starting to come through or had y'all even got that far? He had signed his deal, but he hadn't gotten his deal money. And what's so crazy is like after this, like Snoop was, they first sent the deal in January, but Snoop was like, this is not right. You know, this is the thing about with him was, and that's why I said, if this wasn't my son, I'd just be like, this boy was a smart kid, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you, you've been wanting to be a rapper your whole life and you have a deal in front of you like, nah, I ain't doing it. Wow. And so that gave him time for the world to get to know him more and more. So then other deals started coming to the table. Okay. And the who realest, all, who all, what, uh, who all, well, how many who deals? I didn't know that. Well, I know Universal Records Universal, wanted him. Okay. Um, I don't know as far as like any other entertainers. Okay. Um, but that's big. For sure. Exactly. But the thing that was and so real. you had real, to study up on all this stuff because you didn't know nothing about this industry. And I started learning after <laughs> because I had no choice. This was sat in my lap. So I had to get educated. Right. Because this was new. Right. But Meek kept it so real with Snoop, even though Meek introduced the world to Snoop. I mean, the, you know, he told Snoop to go with the better deal. Yeah. Mm. But Snoop was like, nah, you know, out of loyalty, I'm going to go ahead and sign. So he said, my mama give him two years of my life. Then I'm going to start doing my own thing. He said, when I'm 25, we're going to retire. My daddy going to be home and we just going to live. Wow. That's what he told me. Wow. Did you ever contact his dad? to let him know what happened or did anybody I did I called um because I was trying to get him to the funeral and they wouldn't let him and come the out. coroner told me that I should be embarrassed to even want someone like him at my son's funeral wow. and I said well that's his child too so right. he was on lockdown for something but no he wasn't able to come to the funeral but wow. I did try to get so you, you know, called him and told him what, what was his response I don't really remember because I was so messed up I don't remember he wrote a letter though um and they read it at the funeral, but I can't remember what his response is. All I know is that we have never had the conversation to this, to day, this day. What happened to him? What happened in court? We've never had those conversations. He's never asked me my version of how our child died. It's all been whatever the streets said. Wow. Mm. Well. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.